Hey YouTube, Wolf Pilot checking in with you. We're over here at Fox 46, Rockwall Airport, getting some gas with uh, CFI Amir, who's Hello. an excellent lineman. And uh, a line guy got us uh, pumped up here, ready to go. Anyway, um, your Wolf Pilot is now night current. Uh, I did three just butter landings. Four. With well, here. three landings at, at McKinney, KTKI, and then one coming into here, and that is with being kind of freaked out by the power line, because you're at night, even your CFI will tell you, your night, your depth perception is wonky. You can have optical illusions out the wazoo. So anyway, uh, we're all loaded up with fuel, and hopefully uh, all the magnetos will work, work good this time. <laughs> so uh, let me roll this stuff up. I'm gonna put this camera back uh, in the airplane and uh i'm up i gotta sum, i'm gonna sump the tanks real quick just because we added fuel i'd hate to be the situation where you add fuel it's got water in it so hopefully the water should go straight to the bottom so if it does show up we'll figure it out anyway uh i'll splice this in a video somewhere see ya let's see both of these things going and let's see throttle up an a fly and look around Oh, sure. <laughs> sure, yeah, that would be useful, wouldn't it? Now I might need one time. Oops. There it goes. Right. Try that again. down to uh, the runway. This flight will be all about safety. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking off runway 17 toward the south and I'll be making a right hand turnout back toward home. Uh, There's a big field to our right. See. About 80 degrees to our right as soon as you take off. Flip that around. Rid of that. Uh, Remove from route up there. Oops. Uh, there we go. We're moving from route. Yeah, you going. press that button, it'll switch you. Yep, that's good. And then we're, we're back, we're flopped over where we need to be. All right, excellent, get rid of that. All right, we're gonna be taking off to the south and uh, make you turn out to the right, heading back in. We'll be calling approach as we get close to 2,000 feet. Uh, probably give us a squawk code. And uh, anyway, uh, we're taking off here. If I have an when I have an engine out, if I have not departed the runway yet, I'll kill power, I'll push the nose down and try to use all braking, flapping, everything yep. I can to stop it. Uh, if we're uh, a thousand feet or below, uh, I'm going to level, I'm going to go for best glide, VY, uh, and uh, there's a, uh, off to the to the west, there's a big open field. Yep. And I'll, I'll turn 90 degrees and nose down attitude, and I'll try to put it down there gently. Uh, we'll go full flap so I can feather it and just try to pop it in. Yep. Oh, good call. Uh, and above a thousand people will be treated as an or treated as an in-flight emergency. We'll run some checklists and try to save it. So uh, let's see here. Uh, these instruments agree. Uh, I think the altimeter is probably about the same. We'll part. We'll get. We'll probably have to get ATIS from Addison yeah, at some we'll point. Yeah, we'll get it. But, uh, all right. Here we go. Make him a call. Rockwall traffic, Skylark 8344 Tango, taking to runway 16 for a departure to the west, Air, uh, Rockwall. Looks like we got the runway. Nobody said anything. Uh, 
I have runway 17. Yep. I have center line. All right, full power. A little bit of right rudder. All gauges in the green. Yep. Airspeed is alive. 40, 50, 60. Rotate. Tap the brakes. Gear coming up. Remember my procedures. Yep. Standard uh, 500 foot a minute. Climb at 80 knots. I'll make my turn at uh, 1100. Okay. And we must have run over a skunk. I smell yeah. the skunk. doing what uh, oops turning the wrong knob bro no isn't this a squelch yeah the, which one is this squelch? a big one or the small one it's uh, the out, outside knob is squelch okay and the inner one is volume why can't we hear any that's awesome. one three three four right one two four point three no no this one is one three three four right it just says nine but it's a three right uh yeah i think so okay so we should be able to hear it all right, 2,500 inbound. All right, so. Mine's 2,000, that's what we'll do. 25. 25? Yep. Yeah, because all inbound to the Bravo is 25. Yep. How much you want to bet came out of that <laughs> air vent? How much fuel? <laughs> Probably about 10 gallons. One, Julie, what's, what's your indicator? Three fifty. Wow. Oh. Approach, this is Skylark 8344 Tango at 2000, uh, heading to 2500 out of Rockwall. Southwest 3393 Tower 2370, good day. A344 Tango, are you looking for flight following somewhere? Yes, sir, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, if you have flight following, we're headed to Air Park, Fox 69. 44 Tango, squad 4650. 4650 in the box. A344 Tango. I can just put 7600 and don't talk to anyone. If we just Oh, it puts, what was it, 7,500? We get a, a, a military escort? Yeah, for free. November 1, Julia Whiskey, to maintain 4,000. A344, Tango Radar, contact two miles west of Rockwall at 2,500. Maintain 2,500. Direct to Air Park, advise me, get the weather. All right, we'll maintain 2,500, and we'll let you know when we have the weather. A344 Tango. Seattle's 3129, regional approach, runway 17 center. If it had retractable gear, then you could log as a... Uh Complex airplane. That's the only thing missing. I start heading that way too. Until it was here, 4,000. Do you smell that? Yeah. What is that? Hmm. Right, 
Sure. Sounds like burning oil. Yeah, probably. Uh, this, this thing leaks yeah, all the damn way. Yeah. Okay. Can you turn direct? I'm sorry? Can we turn direct? Oops. Yeah. Probably be a good idea, probably. Yeah. Don't want to go to the Bravo shell there. So when I'm looking at what? Find my magenta line here, so I'm getting about twenty more to fifty here. Yeah, I can definitely smell that. It's coming from the airways. Hmm. Do we have a cabin heat on? I don't think so. One Julie whiskey turned 10 degrees left. What kind of smell do you think that is? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Yeah. All right, keep turning. Right? I mean, I'm not uh, running. Uh, smell. Yeah, not a My EGT is good, 1350, that's where we want to be. Yeah, oil pressure is good, oil temperature is pretty cool, so that's good. Yeah. There's weird smells yeah. that come out of this thing. Keep turning right, please. We want to be direct, right. Alright. Yeah. We want to let them know or hold on to that. Just Oh shit. Hope if I was watching my altitude a yeah. little bit. Better fix that. Yeah, keep turning right. Yeah, but I always ask to make sure I'm not the only one who's smelling it. Number one, Juliet Whiskey, 10 degrees left, maintain 3,000. Our voltage is normal. Temperatures are all normal. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard. Number four, four, ten, get us under your discretion. All right, send our discretion, eight, three, four, four, tango. Yeah. Do you want to let him know? Well, at some point, well, it's when I have air park inside. Plus, yeah. we need to get uh, get ATIS. Yeah. And we're definitely some weird smells. No, let out. him know about this smell. Is what I'm saying. Just so he could know. Approach. This is eight three four four Tango. Uh, just want to let you know we got kind of a weird burning smell in the cockpit. Just FYI. Southwest twenty one eighty six. Stand by. Uh, four four Tango. Do you want to you want to go somewhere else or, or what? No, I just wanted to make you aware of what's what's going on. Um, I, I think all gauges, everything looks fine so far. So I just, it's just kind of weird. Okay, yeah, keep me advised. We'll do eight, November eight three four four Tango. Yeah, yeah one Juliet whiskey to send to maintain two thousand. Yeah, so keep turning right here, so we go. Be out. All right, let me see. I'm kind of watching what I'm doing here on the map. Uh, yeah, I'm going to 2230 approach low 17 center. That, so what I'm looking for is to be that, that line needs to be. Yeah. It, for now, I mean, just the, the bottom one is so easy to use. Yeah. Yeah, but that will keep everything left here. Yeah, 414, I got a phone number for you to copy just to let us know you get down on the ground safe and all that. Let me know when you're ready to copy it. Uh, 4G Tango, can I, um, uh, okay, uh, can I call it the, uh, clearance delivery number for approach? Yeah, yeah, that'll work, that's one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I just want to kind of expedite getting there, uh, don't want to hang out in the air too much. I uh, don't blame you at all. Thank you, yeah, we'll call on the ground for sure. Thanks. One Juliet Whiskey advisor field when you see it. 
It's kind of going away. I mean, it could, whiskey, clear approach, it could just be the oil. Fine, approved. I don't see any traffic between you and yeah, there. Just call me back in there. This frequency and ready to cancel. Kind of, if, if it's from the cowling, it would come out of here and then go in here and come in here. Remember, like Paul's plane right, would go through the door. Cancellation is received. Yeah. You can keep your squad still in. Maintain right. VFR over to Advisor Connect. Southwest 2186, ascending out of 5,000, depart tough at heading 030 for the right down one. Do we have, where's the fire extinguisher? Yeah, four, 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 there isn't one. I need to get one for this plane back. Wow. The operator services are terminated. Just call us when you get down. It's pretty much it. Okay, so something here is not cool. So, look at our voltage. Okay. Our voltage, uh, I think we're, lo we're losing our alternator, generator. Okay. That line. Yeah, that's, okay. Uh, we got turn like 10 degrees for me. 15, right, right turn 15 for me. That was 3129, it's going to maintain 4000. Yeah, we're going to expedite this, go straight in and land. Okay. Yeah, if it's really weird, then we'll go to Addison, but for now. Alright, I want to go make sure Rich. Okay. Yeah, I mean, RPM is good. November 8344 Tango. 8344 Tango, go. 44 Tango, you can change to advisory radar services are terminated. Just call us when you get on the ground. Okay, we figured out we uh, we have lost generator. We lost generator. Okay, so you're just working on battery power? Yeah, yeah, we're just on battery power at the moment. Okay, you'll be all good. It'll fly perfectly fine with just the battery. Yeah, I know. We got we got two magnetos that are in good shape. Perfect. Uh, change the advisor and just give us a call when you land. Have a good night. All right, change the advisor. We'll call you when we get on the ground. A three four four Tango. Thank you. Uh, Welcome. All right. So one what is it? One twenty two eight. Twenty two thirty eight. Drink penny. Just going to maintain five thousand. One two two nine. Well, I'm sorry. What was that? One two two nine. One two two nine. Okay, we're there. All right, give me a right turn here. There is there a park there. All right, hold a sec. Uh, right okay. down, yeah, past the freeway. Do you see it? All right, uh, yeah. Okay, so at that turn, yeah. Don't want to hang out too much in here. I'm really high. I'm at 2,500. So. Okay. Yeah, we got time to descend. We, you know. Yeah, we can. We'll extend you our downwind. You can lose altitude. You can't. Uh, you can't gain altitude. Uh, yeah, if exactly. If goes wrong. So. All right. So I'm in the downwind now. Airport traffic. This is Skylark 8344 Tango, entering a left downwind uh, for a full stop runway 16. Uh, airport. Colgate traffic on 129 is currently uh, three miles to the south. All right, sir. 2,500 feet. Transition over midfield, northwest down, cold it. All right, make sure. Okay, mixture full Drop. rich. Pop going all the way in. All right, I'm slowing down here. All right, get down here. Yeah, don't go too far out either. I'm not. Yeah, thank you. All right, slowing down here a little bit. Yeah, right. stay with it, gliding distance. All right, we're going flaps 10, flaps 20. All right, base Turning here. base. I'm not worried about losing engine. I'm just worried about the lights turning off. But it's got, thank God we got a brand new battery. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, that's true. I'm worried about i just cautious about everything. That's all. Right. Airport traffic, Skylark 8344 Tango turning base, runway 16, full stop, airport. Shit. Trim. A right. little bit more left. You see how the wind is blowing just a little. Yeah. All right, I see the gas station. I see the runway. All right. And I am at I am at 1,300 feet. Oh, not a little bit more. Yeah. Might be the voltage regulator gone out or something. Uh, if it, that could very well be because it. That happened once, and it was that it's weird smell. All right. You got it. Flaps Make 30. Time. Relax. You're doing perfect. All right. Gas is on both undercarriage. Gear is down. Mix seat, and seat pop. Belt. Yep. Seat belts, and switches, lights. straps, and flaps. Lights are on. Yeah, and uh, let's make it a no, no go around if possible. Try no, we're not. We're, I'll, I will get it the first time. Airport traffic. This is Skylark 8344 Tango on one mile final for runway 16 full stop. Airport. 
Yeah, everything here is going to work. Don't so, slow it. Uh, I'm not going down anymore. I'm yeah. 70, I'm at 70. Yeah, unless you're clear at these buildings. There you go, you can feel the power. All right. Uh, runway is 16 is assured. Yep. All right. They're high. There you go. Ooh, easy on the brakes. Right. Easy on the brakes. Aerodynamic braking. Yep. Easy on the brakes. That would be pretty fast on the touch, and now we're good. Well, we we touched down at 68 knots. Yeah. I mean, we came in high. It was kind of a... Yeah, I just want to make sure we don't run off the road. Well, I, I was nervous for two seconds. Yeah. Nah, we're good. I called him. Eight three four four Tango. Airport traffic, this is Skylark, eight three four four Tango, back taxiing runway one six, or yeah, back taxiing runway one six to the hangars, T hangers, airport. Hey YouTube, Heart Wolf Pilot here. As you can clearly tell, it's nighttime, and I'm also I'm wearing this uh, cool headlamp. I did a pie rep on it. It's another video. You might want to go check that out. Anyhow, we got uh, A344 Tango back in the hangar in one piece. However, we did experience a failure. Uh, halfway between Rock Wall and Air Park, we lost voltage. Uh, my generator light. To me, I was not illuminated like when the engine is off. Uh, we had been smelling kind of a burnt toast, kind of like a popcorn-y smell. And uh, about this time, the smell kind of went away. I was, I was, you know, During the smell, everything was fine. Uh, voltages were fine, 13 volts, blah, 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 oil pressures, temperatures, everything was just gravy. And then the smell went away, and the next time I'm looking down at my uh, engine management system, keeping an eye on all my EGT, CGT, all that crap, and it's blinking bat 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 11.2 bat 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 okay then all i looked over to the right to the clock timer deal and it's blinking well it's 11 1 well that's totally not going to work so um basically got down on the ground okay no no worries we did discover a uh let me see if i can get this a, a well this is a seriously foobard fuse for the for the uh, generator down here and it looks like it got so hot that the solder melted out of the fuse. So tomorrow, Steve and I are going to have to address that problem. Anyhow, more fun, more aviating. I am now night current. I did three landings at McKinney, and I did a landing uh, out at Rockwall. Beautiful landing, even over the high-tension power lines. Sketchy, but I pushed it through. Anyhow, thank you for uh, tuning into my channel. I appreciate every subscription. I appreciate your support uh, and all comments. Uh, I'm a humble guy. If, if you see something I did while I was flying that's wrong, I mean, let me know constructively uh, and because I'm not perfect. I've only got 120 hours in the logbook, and I'm st every day I fly, it's a learning experience. Anyhow, with that, everybody have a great night, and we'll see you later. Bye.